What are you, a scaly? Well, maybe you aren't, but this guy sure is. So, Ross, uh, welcome to Boisterous Fellows. Uh, you've already got our character prepared, right? For the most part. I know the name, race, class. And that's it. <laughs> right? Alignment. I, I got the stuff, I got the stuff that aren't stats. The stuff that isn't stats. Okay, so, I might as well introduce your character. So, I have a ranger dragonborn named Golby. He is true neutral, and... I decided to do the, what's it called, Outlander background. I know you can put that in whatever you're going to use to help me figure out the hell of these stats. Google. Google. <laughs> uh, okay, so true neutral. True neutral. And this is the first time in forever that I haven't had, like, 14 chaotic neutral plays. <laughs> well, the thing is, is, like, I wanted to be like, how can I make someone so true neutral interesting? And I wanted to do that. So, he's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, not true neutral, then. It's... The only way to make a true neutral interesting is to make them not be true neutral. Is what you're saying. <laughs> Basically. Okay, well... so I'm glad we got that clear. <laughs> I'm going to move the mic. Okay. So, because the, uh, the readout for you is way louder than the readout for me, so I'm changing it. It also might I'm be more my important. voice. <laughs> I'm more important. <laughs> <laughs> Go and die it, in a hole. We don't need you. I spelled Golby wrong. <laughs> it's Goldie one L. It's G-U-L-B-Y. Just yes. so that it's out there for all two people who listen to this ever. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's talk about your stats, I guess. Yep. So I rolled an 18 for strength, which I thought was really funny. And then... <laughs> Next is a 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of how it went. A 14 for dex. And for constitution, an 8. <laughs> An intelligence, 14. 14. Wisdom, 12. And charisma, 9. Not Okay, so, guess what your strong suit is? <laughs> oh, I haven't the slightest freaking clue. I bet it's constitution. <laughs> Dude, your HP is going to be so low. <laughs> I You're, know. Freak, I mean, probably not as low as Lin's 5, but... <laughs> oh my god, Are, is he seriously starting with 5? Five? 5 HP, because his con... His constitution mod That's is so bad. negative. Yeah, well, we're not a constituted group. <laughs> uh, I've noticed this. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Sivan's particularly constituted either. Although I didn't actually talk stats with Alfred, so I don't know. Oh, that's really funny. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I have not planned anything for the people who can't visually see what just happened. There was a beat of silence, and we looked at each other dramatically, like we were in an old 90s movie. <laughs> like two doubting lovers. <laughs> like, mm, this one? <laughs> like, glancing over to their friend, who put them on this speed date with this guy that they don't know. No, it's like the it's beginning like, of Marley and Me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Marley and Me in like 10 years. Okay, okay. So, so what are you proficient in? Let's just get with that. Oh, God. Proficient. Like, the skills that I picked? Okay, so I can see you picked some skills. Probably not. Probably not enough. I did Pro not know what to pick for That's, the race. That makes sense. And But I did know what to get for, I think, Ranger. Or, no, this was for Outlander. Yes. Outlander background. So I got okay. Athletics and Survival. I have no idea amongst my other choices to pick. And... Uh, well, give me a second, and I will find those choices. All right. And your proficiency bonus, I believe, is just plus two. Okay. I think it usually, it just starts at plus two, I think. Uh, I mean, I don't really care enough to check. <laughs> so, rules be darned. Because who needs rules, right? Yeah, exactly. You get this. You get it. The cheese puffs give me flashbacks. Oh my god, don't touch those. <laughs> don't ever touch those. Don't ever talk to me or my cheese puffs again. <laughs> What'd you get? Fifteen. A whole lot of dice. And a 
whole lot of dice. <laughs> Let's make the same jokes. <laughs> over and over again. I'm named after a Pokemon. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so your ability scores. I just found it on Wiki. Wiki okay. Let's start with your ability scores. You're going to get uh, a plus two on your strength score and a plus one on your charisma. In a, I mean, in addition to what you got uh, from being a dragonborn. I don't know if that's like an actual proficiency. Oh. I think proficiency, I think that's based on class. Yeah. So saving throw proficiency. I but am you, get, you get a base uh, strength stat of plus two, or a strength mod, and a base charisma mod of plus one. So you can just like write that off to the side or whatever. So those aren't, those are just what you're going to add after you figure everything else out. All right. Was the strength, strength is plus two. Okay. And then Christmas plus one for now. And then in addition to the score you got from your roll for each of those. And then your proficiencies, if you have them in those. Yeah. Uh, let's figure out your, your speed is 30. I mean, when isn't it 30, though? It, that's usually how it's it starts out. It's always 30. It's always 30, exactly. <laughs> it's never not. Unless you, like, level up or get an item. You figured out, like, all of the, like, the non-stat things, right? Pretty much. So, like, languages and whatnot? Mm-hmm. And attacks I, that you've got? I don't know about attacks or weapons, but pretty much... Hi. Okay. My safe space. Your safe space. This is my mom. <laughs> she invades my safe space on the reg. And then gets out of that one. Actually, I might leave this in. <laughs> <laughs> well... Plus the Outlander, I believe I have three languages, so I picked... I didn't pick. I get Common and Draconic for I didn't being... pick. I was forced to do this. <laughs> Someone beat me up in the background. <laughs> in the back of a so McDonald's. It's not, so it's not actually Outlander, it's like Outsider, and because you're such an outsider, you got beat up. Yes. And then that's how you got these languages. Yep. Is that canon? Yes. Someone <laughs> beat me up, and I learned Elvish along with Common and Draconic. Okay. And no. is there a story reason for that? There's no... <laughs> <laughs> Other than be getting beat up? <laughs> oh, God. I actually only have his story vaguely, but he he has been spent... He has spent um, some time with elves, which is Ooh. why he knows Elvish. That makes sense. Maybe I can use a similar excuse for why Lynn could possibly know Sylvan. <laughs> Sylvan. <laughs> that freaking page with all the <laughs> That wasn't this thing I was talking about, but I understand what you're speaking of. I under- it's so funny. I went through the entire thing. And you picked Dragonborn. No, no. So. I just picked it out of curiosity. Not Dragon- I- I went through the page picked... out of curiosity. Yeah, so you, so but you... I already had Golby be a Dragonborn from the very start. Pretty scarily. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't tell the other person who's doing a Dragonborn that, I'm going to literally kill you. <laughs> I'll try to remember that. You need to call them a Scaly. I'm going to censor the entire episode so you can't... <laughs> you bleep out Scaly. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking... I just... No, I don't even bleep it. I just silence it. So it just... <laughs> you freaking... Ugh. This isn't helpful. <laughs> they didn't even steal Scalies. They stole the word itself, too. So I can't find anything. That's fantastic, man. I don't even know how I found them for, uh... Oh, you know what? Duh. <laughs> it's based on class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, duh. <laughs> I'm not meant for this. I just, I just got home from school, man. You dimwit. <laughs> I just got home from school, man. I wasn't meant for this. Alright, so you get two. I get two what? Okay, okay. So, your proficiencies. You're gonna get... Let's start with skills. So you get to choose three from animal handling, athletics, insight, investigation, nature, perception, stealth, and survival. So First of all, perception goes there. Yeah, and investigation and insight probably. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> no, um, so you get to choose two from the remaining ones, which are... So I picked, I just picked animal perception handling. and animal handling. You, okay, so you just picked perception and animal handling. And, uh, and now you can you get to choose one more between insight, investigation, nature, and stealth. Stuff. Stealth. Stealth. Stuff. Okay. Perception, animal handling, and stuff. I'll just go with that. Ooh. 
Okay. He's a hunter. He should be stealthy. That makes sense. Okay, I'm glad you're thinking about that. Because I wasn't. I was thinking, but it's investigation and but it's insight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the necessary ones. Uh, so stuff. Oh, okay. If you want to be that way. <laughs> I can make a really bad joke. Go ahead. Of course you're proficient in handling animals, you freaking scaly. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that tarp I said I was going to get so I can block <laughs> people in real life? <laughs> There it is. I found it. <laughs> the last straw. I found it. It was in your car. I left it in your car. I left I, be, I left my people blocking tarp in your car last time you gave me a ride over here. Oh, so uh, can I can I have it back? So I need my bad. people blocking tarp so that I can block you in real life. Uh, next. Oh, I kind of need to bubble in my saving throws. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. We'll get there when we get there. Uh, so you're going to be proficient in light armor. Medium armor and shields. Light and medium armor and shields. Yes. You done with that? Yep. All right, so you're also going to be proficient in simple weapons and martial weapons. Okay. And that's it. That sounds good. Well, and also your saving throws when you're thinking about it. Yeah. That was it? Simple and martial weapons? Simple and martial. All right, cool. Got it. Apologies for all the disgusting cold noises you have to edit out. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> oh, saving throws. Strength and dex. Strength and dex. All right. And... There you go. And I guess while we're looking at the saving throws, it's time to figure out your base mods. Since I have a chart that's handy for that. If I can get it to open. You are prepared. Well, I mean, I had to use it a bunch. I think this is the fourth, no, third character I've helped build. I didn't really help build Simon. Uh, well, it's because Alfred's Alfred. Who you met like two weeks ago. Who I met like two weeks <laughs> yeah, ago. And you're just like, oh, that's Alfred. Well, it's yeah. not really that hard to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Alfred behind his back. Well, no, congrats you you have your you have your shit together. Congrats, That's... you're the one who actually you're got... the one. <laughs> you're the one. You're the chosen one, Alfred. Alfred's gonna wa- listen to this at some point and be confused. Well, all right. So I'm just I'm not letting you go on. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I'm the DM. Strength, plus four. Oh, boy. These are your base stats. Are these just base? Base, or, no? base. Oh, okay. There base we go. mods, yeah. And then... Plus four. Dex, plus two. Constitution, uh, minus one. Fantastic. Intelligence, plus two. Wisdom, plus one. Charisma, minus one. God, I have no in-between. I either am great at this or suck at this. <laughs> well, I'm either fantastic, uh, great, all right, or suck. So there is an in between. It's just like, in fact, it's not that there's far. There's no zeros, basically. I yeah, but there's a minus mind. one. There's a plus one. There's a plus two. There's another. Plus and then there's two, a there's plus another four. <laughs> yeah, there's only one that's really an outlier here, and it's not even okay. So you can. I'm just gonna say your proficiency bonus is plus two. I'm pretty sure it's always plus two at first level. So that means that your strength mod at first level. <laughs> Oh, your no. strength mod at first level is going to be, let's see, plus eight? What? <laughs> Are you serious? It's plus eight. Oh my god, that's... Because you got the plus two from being a dragonborn, <laughs> I think. Uh, and your dex is going to be plus four. Oh my god. Constitution minus plus one. Plus eight. Intelligence plus two. Your wisdom will be plus one and your charisma will be zero. Lied about having no zero. Yeah, there is no in between. Actually, I'll vouch for that. Yeah. Yeah. Plus eight. Wait, which was the one for wisdom? Plus one. Okay. You know the most basic number. I'm giving you shit for no reason. <laughs> I am prime asshole meat. <laughs> prime asshole meat. <laughs> okay, I don't like that actually. Ooh. Anyway, so let's go ahead and fill out the rest of your stats. Actually, real quick, I totally forgot to jot this one down. I don't know why. Probably because I'm not it. Um, what's intelligence? My intelligence? That's a good question. Plus two. Plus two, okay. That's a good question. Don't answer. <laughs> That's a good question, you're gonna get no good answer, though. Anyways. Are you just hovering No, I just wanted to see what his last name was! I wish there was one. You don't get to see the name. I'm the DM. You don't get to see the name! <laughs> I'm omniscient. <laughs> I'm all-knowing and all-powerful. I'm God. I'm the God of this world. 
Okay, so, uh, so you can, you're a smart boy. You can figure, you can figure out, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're smart no, no, but you're still smart. I'm, <laughs> I wasn't kidding about that. I'm sorry. Uh, no. No, I'm joking. You're an idiot. <laughs> Are you slow-witted? I'm so sorry for you. It's terrible to be dull and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you would you would say that to me. <laughs> no, that's a quote from a book. But you would say that to me. <laughs> All right, so. Have you got... No, you don't. I don't have anything. <laughs> you don't have... Well, you don't even know what I said. Uh, I was going to ask, do you have the base stats associated with each of those skills Definitely. written next to them, and clearly Absolutely you don't. Not. So I'll There's just, a blank space there. I'll just go off and... Yeah, well... So, acrobatics. Uh, that's going to be plus two. Animal handling will be plus three. Arcana, plus two. Do you want some algebra there? No. Just throwing away that variable for today. You know who's the variable? My sanity. <laughs> you, get out of this house. This is my house. I <laughs> know, get out of this house, it's mine now. Well, that's not how... I mean, I guess that kind of is how the housing market works, but that's not the point. Wow, that was dark. That was a dark <laughs> joke. <laughs> Athletics is going to be plus six. Fantastic. Well, look, you signed up for this. I signed up for this. I asked you, do you want to be on a D and D podcast? And you're like, yeah, I want to be on a D and D podcast. And this is what you get: a, <laughs> a plus, plus six. six on athletics. How awful! It's the worst I've ever well, seen. Oh, it's great. I love it. Your deception will be minus one. History plus two. I'm sorry. The way this character sheet printed out, the base stats are really faint, and so I had to look over at the one I printed out in color. Yeah, I just handwrite my own character sheets that I keep, because that's how I live my life and spend my time. <laughs> yeah, coloring black borders around them manually. How long did that take? No, well, the thing is, it's not with these um, fine pens. I have a brush So longer? Pen. No, it's really fast. Oh. <laughs> so your insight, your insight will be plus one. Intimidation will be minus one. Investigation will be plus two. Medicine will be plus one. Your nature will be plus two. What a nature boy. Plus two. <laughs> Such a nature boy. You got plus two. I think what? my my wizard's spellcasting mod is like plus eleven. <laughs> Granted, she's level six, but like, you got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> level six? <laughs> but you got nothing. <laughs> you level one scrub. Yeah, your perception will be plus three, performance will be minus one, persuasion will be minus one, religion will be plus two, sleight of hand will be plus two, stealth will be plus four, and survival will be plus three. All right. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Hot dog! <laughs> All right, so I guess let's do hit points now. Uh, Well, okay, we'll start with your hit die. Yeah, your hit dice is 1d10 per level. So it's 1d10 and your... Um, constitution mod, right? Uh, when you start off. No, first level is just 10 plus your con, so 9 okay. for HP. And then each level it's 1d10 plus your con. Okay. So currently, you got 9 and you're at 9 HP. At least it's not 5. <laughs> what? I said at least it's not 5. Yeah, it's 9. <laughs> so, it's not much <laughs> better. Uh, let's see. But then again, the max would be... This is actually really... Well, 20 is really good for this. It has a lot of info. Uh, okay, so I guess let's do your starting equipment, unless you got that taken care of. No. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, you get to choose between scale mile and leather armor. Leather. Leather, okay. Uh, you get to choose between two short swords, or two simple melee weapons, which you can find somewhere, probably. Yeah, so one melee weapon, is that what they said? Uh, two. Two melee weapons. Two simple melee weapons. All right, I'll just look that up later and then tell you, cause... Okay. So you can pick between a Dungeoneer's pack or an Explorer's pack? Dungeoneer. Okay. Uh, and you're going to get a longbow and a quiver of 20 arrows. Okay. So you said you'll figure out your attack? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I just need to, that makes it needed to know me. what the weapons I have, because I don't think... Yeah, your proficiency gold... bonus is plus two, by the way. Yeah. I don't think Golby will be having any spells at all. Well, speaking of spells, uh, you can write this wherever you want. Uh, there's not a place on these character sheets, although you mm -hmm. have your own 
So so I can make room. You can make, yeah, I'll make one. <laughs> I'll make a box. This is my house. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and write your spell save DC. Oh, yeah, I have it. Oh, right. you already have it? Mm -hmm. I have a box for you it. You have a box for it. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Pat me on the shoulder. Good boy. I actually just extended my arm and, like, <laughs> patted the shoulder of the friend. <laughs> the friend. Uh, your spell save DC is going to be 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom mod. So that'll be a total of, let's see, 11? 8 plus 3, yeah. Wait. That's your experience. That's my XP. <laughs> uh, you All do right. not have, no, uh, you do not have 11 experience points. Uh, <laughs> although, what difference is that really make? <laughs> not a lot. Well, a quite bit a bit on. at first level, I'd say. Uh, your spell attack mod is going to be your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom mod. I don't have a box for that one. Um... So I will make one. Yes, you do. Do I? Spellcasting ability. Is okay. That is that... Okay, you just said a oh, different no, 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 no. Word, so I got very Okay, your spellcasting ability is wisdom, but that's not really okay. useful <clears throat> information after you've created it. Your spell attack mod is plus three. So it's spell attack mod? Yes. All right. And I trust you enough to understand what that means, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Spells known at first level. Or, you know, he's not that much of a spellcaster, but if he needs to, well, he'll use it. Well, you still so, get ranger spells. Yeah. Uh, so, so this thing is telling me that you get... Well, actually, I should probably look that up separately, because this is like an overview. So I'm yeah, going well, to... Uh, I can research it and jot it down later. Yeah, but let me figure that out. That's so thoughtful. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you know jack shit. <laughs> Are you talking uh, to me or the website? You do. Golby knows jack shit. Golby knows jack shit. Okay. That spells. That's what I was thinking. First level. He knows jack shit. Uh, but at second, at level two, you will learn two first level spells. Okay. Two first level ranger spells. Uh, that and that'll is increase. Fine. That'll increase. All right. So yeah, you're gonna, you don't know any spells, but you will at second level. Okay. All right. Let, I guess we should look at your background next. What your background gives you. Uh, unless you've already figured that out. I believe an instrument. Um, which well. is really funny, but, um, as well, well, the first thing is I had a athletics and survival from that background. I know. But I don't know much about the equipment. Well, Wikidia is really helpful here. So, actually, you get, you do get a tool proficiency because of your background, and it's one type of musical instrument. Do they just tell you what instruments you're, you can play or you can't? Cause... Make up an instrument. You're a smart person. <laughs> Guitar. Guitar, all right. There's nothing else. That's nice. Guitar's good. Guitar is good. <laughs> he takes out an acoustic guitar, and then it, it has a chord, and he, he amplifies like, it, and he starts playing Guns N' Roses. He starts playing, like, heavy, hardcore metal. <laughs> yeah! So, the kind He where, starts like, playing it, and, like, organ sounds come out. <laughs> it's, like, it's like metal church. He starts talking, and it's just a ukulele playing from his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> uh, Okay, so for equipment from from Outlander, you're going to get uh, a staff, a hunting crop, a trophy from an animal you killed, a set of traveler's clothes, and a belt pouch containing ten gold pieces. I could be it's a real right dick there. right now and say, oh, I get a bird feather. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. No, I'm not do gonna it. do that. Do I it. wanted to get an be, antler. It would be funny. <laughs> Think of the memes. <laughs> the memes. No. Think of the children. <laughs> the trophy's an antler. Well, it's okay. <laughs> well, whenever episode two goes up, you'll find out something interesting that kind of happened related to that. Oh, God. Not, not exactly the same. Kind of the other way around, too. Between between Lynn and Sivan. Is everyone just gonna troll Lynn? <laughs> no, Lynn was kinda on the Sivan was kind of on the receiving end. Oh, thank that's cool. Alright. <laughs> Neato. And then Alfred's like, I'm retconning this. Alright, so I think that's all the important stuff. Uh oh wait, initiative. Right. Yeah, I kinda need to know my initi uh, an armor class. Uh yeah. I'm gonna say your armor class is thirteen. I'm doing the same thing I did with Lynn. I'm just making that up. 
<laughs> I thought you were going to tell like a full blown mathematics thing of plus this and this. And well, like, well, you well, see, you see, I up. derived it from the integral of. <laughs> you think I care that much? It, I'm the DM. I make up math. Two plus two I is six. I invented math. Two plus two is six for all I care. I invented numbers. I I am I am god of number. They call me algebra. Maybe that was too fun. Uh, initiative. I swear I googled this literally like two days ago, three days ago. And then you're googling it also, ten seconds ago. Right now, actually. <laughs> In this very moment. Initiative. Uh, yeah, yeah. Initiative's your dex. Okay, and I have a plus two dex. Yep. And, while we're at it, your passive perception, your passive wisdom will be 13. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all the stats we got taken care of. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and I can other than the... attacks that you'll figure out. Yeah, I'll figure uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What did you do? <laughs> I smacked myself with my... I just peed my pants! <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Wait, was my passive wisdom plus three? Is plus thirteen. No, plus your passive wisdom is thirteen. It's thirteen. Okay. Yeah. I so it was a mod. Okay. if I wanted to, I I'm not sure if this is actually true, but the way that works, I think the way I'm gonna do it, I don't even know if it's even remotely close to what it is. But if I need to, like, have you roll a perception check without actually informing you that you're rolling a perception check, I would just use that number. Okay. I think that's how that works. I mean, if it's not, then I don't really care, and that's how I'm still going to do it. Well, the thing is, you didn't really care about it last time we played with another Yeah, but it's, I've discovered that it's probably going to be useful, so okay. I might as well do it. Alright, so from here on out, we're not doing stats anymore. Uh, we're just doing like character decisions, and I think we're only like half an hour, 40 minutes in, so we've got time for days, for <laughs> hours, maybe. To talk about this. Yeah, or... so, uh, Golby. First Golby. of all, I want to make him as tall as physically freaking possible. <laughs> Okay, so like nine foot eight. <laughs> no. Um, well, roll roll a d twenty. Roll a d twenty. And we'll see. I don't want to make him short though. That's, roll a d twenty. It makes me want to die thinking about him being short. Roll a d twenty again. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Let's be freaking cheaters. I got a one. <laughs> roll it again. <laughs> All right, so he's fourteen foot three. I was going to make him six foot five. Six foot five. Okay. That's not that tall, though. Imagine those... someone in front of you who's six foot five. It's like a foot taller than me. That's not much. I live in a world where everyone's... <laughs> <laughs> You're not that short. I mean, you are, but... <laughs> I am that short. You're sitting down right now, so that's all good. I am that short. But yes, six foot five, which is really tall to me. How tall are you? I'm, I'm five foot one. I'm really short, and it haunts me. Haunts me. So, so just let me live. I'll try it, but like, <laughs> but like, you know, I'm trying to make a joke, but I can't think of the joke I'm trying to make. So that's that's a it's a struggle. Kind of like how you're struggling with being short. I tied it together. It's I full could circle. make him taller if you allow. If you're okay with it, I don't care. You don't care. Go for it. <laughs> Fine then. <laughs> six foot ten. Six foot ten. All right. He is. Well, he's like. Yeah, well, he's like a dragonborn, so I can see him being taller than like the average human. Well, that's why he was gonna be six foot five because that's kind of tall. That, that's like the average that's still, human. A uh, human can still be that tall though. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean like out of complete. Think reach. how big a freaking dragon is. Fine. Six foot ten. So, yeah, that was... We already agreed on that. Fine. <laughs> so, six foot ten. Yes. So he's six foot ten? Yes. Just, so, just to confirm, <laughs> he's six foot ten, right? Yes. Where's my eraser? What did you do with my eraser? It's here. You took my eraser, you freak. <laughs> you freaking scaly. <sighs> All right, so, uh, I guess do you have personality traits. I... Bonds, ideals, flaws. Two? All Ooh. right. Ooh. I don't have a full blown backstory yet, and I honestly didn't want one. That's good. <laughs> That's smart. I just wanted the a vague idea that I can work with once we actually start playing. It's better not to have a backstory for these episodes. Yeah. To be honest, because it's like, okay, great, you filled an hour and a half of <laughs> full blown backstory uh, with exposition. Well, I'm I know more about <laughs> his personality than his actual and, backstory, which is probably more helpful right and, now. And also a lot of repeated 
exposition. <laughs> Very repetitive. I have a lot of editing to do on episode two. Yeah. <laughs> this one seems like it'll be easier to edit. Maybe? Who knows? There isn't a lot of silence so far, so... <sighs> there was a little bit. <laughs> but I wanted to make someone who was, like, really pragmatic. So, like... He will help people, but if he doesn't, or if, if he fails, if, if if he fails, he won't lose that much sleep at night. He he doesn't particularly um, care as much as maybe some people expect him to. Mm. Okay, so he's like a sort of like, a, it's the past is the past, move on, yes. don't be a bitch. Yeah, basically. Cry your baby bitch tears. Get fucking over it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> there was one... Fuck. In episode one. I think there have been at least seven so far in this one. Well, Alfred soars quite a bit, too. How much do you think is there? I have this blur. <laughs> I don't even remember. It's just a loud string of swearing. No, just the episode was a blur, because it's just like an hour and a half of straight talking. Oh, boy. Well, and also I haven't edited it yet, so... <laughs> Which is why I remember so much about the first episode. Okay, so he's very pragmatic? Very pragmatic. Oh, which means, like, if he... If there's something to get done, he'll do it, and if there's a sacrifice to be needed for it, he won't particularly let it get in the way. And that could be both a good thing and a bad thing. Are you trying to look at the word? Uh, oh. I was trying to get Google to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Pragmatic. Pragmatic. <laughs> I was trying to do that like 20 seconds ago. Pragmatic definition. Pragmatic. Dealing with things sensibly and realistically in a way that is based on practical rather than theoretical considerations. Yes. That. <laughs> so, he's not a what-if kind of guy. No. He's a here and now and we do this, we do that kind of guy. Um, there was something in ideals. He's, again, he's not loyal to ideals and, like, the kind of what-ifs that other people would probably go for. Like, what if we can do this or that? And he'll just, no, I just wanted to Hit do it the till least. it dies. <laughs> it's more like, get this done the fastest and least <clears throat> um, stupid. stupid way possible. <laughs> the least dangerous, probably. Yeah. Something like that. It, more of a thing to keep himself safe and other people around him safe and and he doesn't much care for sacrifices so okay what i meant is he finds more value in moving forward and one life does not equal a whole group of lives so like you know in that in those cheesy tv shows that are like i got to do this to save humanity and they're like no I don't know. No, I love you, Kyle. <laughs> or more of a like no. if this if this one person stays alive, then this entire group dies. And he if he can't find a way around it, he'll he doesn't really he'll, he'll, care. He'll, do he'll go for the group. He'll do seppuku. <laughs> Sudoku. <laughs> he'll do Sudoku. He'll, he'll do, do a puzzle game. He'll play Scrabble. He'll play Scrabble. Is that what you're saying? He'll play he'll if you know what I mean, he'll play Scrabble. Sure. Because Scrabble is hard and you'll kill yourself because you play Scrabble and not good at it. See, I don't think... If sorry, that was... Even... The, sorry, that came from a dark place. I understand that. <laughs> I have a dark history with Scrabble. <laughs> In this D&D podcast, we learn the dark edges of, of not, Max's past. Of not, not the characters, but the DM. It's about me. <laughs> The DM himself you guys are... and his history with Scrabble. So, you guys are just a vehicle <laughs> for me to tell my tragic backstory. <laughs> which is that I have a really dark history with Scrabble. <laughs> uh, this one time, this kid named... Uh, I was going to say James, but we have a James playing. D &D. Oh my god. So, uh, John. This kid named John. Doe. Doe. John Doe, a deer, a female deer. Uh... This guy named John Doe, I played Scrabble with him, and, well, he won, using the word penis. <laughs> I couldn't think, I was gonna say doe, but I'm like, that's not really. Carrot! He won with the word carrot, that's right, I misremembered that. Pretty sure Scrabble wouldn't 
Oh, wait, wait, it was Words with Friends. Never mind, it wasn't Scrabble. <laughs> like, it wasn't Scrabble <laughs> after all. <laughs> Maybe the life-changing board games are just the friends we've made along the way. That's not a board game, but I'll go with it. <laughs> Aggravation. That's a board game. Uh, okay, so, ideals, what was it? Sincerity and live and let live, which means loyalty to the friends and he- the here and now, and... Not too much personal meddling. Okay. He doesn't want to cause, like, a revolution or something. He doesn't want to meddle into that business. <laughs> mm. But what if? Now, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but what if? Me, but hear me out. What if he played Scrabble? <laughs> and used the word revolution. Yeah. And he won with the word revolution. It's not going to change his opinion okay, on no. it. No, okay. What about uh, if you played Dance Dance Revolution? That's a game, right? <laughs> I don't think you'd play. It's not much of a dancer. Well, you can't really call that dancing. I know. It's arrows on a... It's arrows on a... You know... <sighs> Listen, all of you dance dance revolution leets and elites, you're scrubs. <laughs> this is... This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is coming from me. <laughs> this is, I want you to beat me up at my house. <laughs> <laughs> you, me, beat me up. 8 p.m. <laughs> Back behind the school. <laughs> No, listen, to all of you Dance Dance Revolution elites and elites and pros and gods, you're nothing to me. <laughs> you mean nothing to me. You too, John Doe. I'll as beat if, you at Words with Friends someday. As if he will ever listen to this. No, it's a different John Doe. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's John Doe, Doe. Uh, wow. Wow. Like, that's not relevant. That entire spiel is not relevant, but dang, was it good improv. Did I do any improv? I don't. I just contributed a tiny bit. Look, this is this podcast is a vehicle for my political views. <laughs> I believe that all. Tra- <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. No. Don't say it. If I ever want to run for president, I'm never gonna make it. <laughs> if I run for president, they'll think I'm racist. They think I'm a fool. I've actually been told. That I would, I would totally run for president and then win and then back out last minute when I was about to win. <laughs> I would see that. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that happening. You can be my running mate. <sighs> okay. Okay. So bonds, like relationships. Bonds. Okay. So vague backstory. Oh boy. Boy. Only took us fifty-two minutes <laughs> of stats, but he spent most of his. Um, teenage years with elves, and then kind of went on on his own because he is particularly stubborn and likes going from place to place. Yeah, like moving from place to place, and uh, like a nomad. Yes, typically like that. But he did spend a lot of his time among elves, and he thinks like he owes what would you call it? Just a priest. <laughs> that was a very long and like dr- like mm-hmm. <laughs> dramatic shrug. shrug. Yeah, saying. Well, the town elder. Can we call it that? Sure. Just call it that. Town, town elder. elder. That took him in the first place. He, um. Basically, he knows Elvish. He trusts elves, and he hasn't actually spent a lot of time with other um Dragonborn, which mm. is really funny. <laughs> well, but also kind of sad. What about a change? That about a change. We got another Dragonborn. Probably the next episode. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's what he mostly has when it comes to when it comes to bonds. I'm sorry, I have a very some priest old guy. Some priest old guy that he doesn't even talk to anymore. But he has still like on Skype, and <laughs> just like one of those like very... he's very lonely. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Who isn't? I mean, right? <laughs> we're all alone in this. <laughs> we're we're all alone in this. We're all we're alone old. together though. We're together alone. Forever alone. Together. Forever. <laughs> until we die. Not forever, then. Incredible. I swear to God, John Doe, I'm gonna beat you in Words with Friends. Well, I was talking that I have more of an impact because it was out of nowhere. But <laughs> it, didn't really... it didn't really... There's no context. There's no... There's no real impact. Hmm. Well, the context is... That was like ten minutes ago and you just brought it up out of the blue, so it's funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. It's a callback to a previous <clears throat> moment, a previous special moment that we had between the two of us and the audience here. Hi. I don't remember. What did you just say? Oh, God. I don't either. I have a terrible memory. Oh, yeah. 
Ross has a terrible memory. <laughs> just, just, to, just, to, just to put it out there, I have a significantly <clears throat> bad memory. What was I saying? Sorry, what did you say? I couldn't. What? Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, some old priest guy. Some old priest guy. That's it. That I actually it. think they may be exchanging so, letters. Um, uh, whenever possibly. he, actually, yeah, whenever he actually goes somewhere where he can actually send mail, uh, he would send a letter. Does he know his parents? No. Okay. Or they're dead. <laughs> that makes two. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but I know you're not joking, but they're dead. <laughs> Okay, Bruce. <laughs> flaws. Character flaws. Again, that... What's wrong with Golby? Pragmatism <laughs> may come in the way. May be in the way. And he is kind of that survival of the fittest. And he hates when someone says, I got this, and then they totally don't got this. <laughs> mm. So, like, he hates being, like, told, like, to stay safe for himself or whatever? Yeah, basically. If someone says be safe, it's like, look, I am. Where do you, how do you think I've made it this In this far? world. Yeah, basically. Tax day is coming up. And <laughs> <laughs> where do you think I got the gold for this? <laughs> the 10 gold pieces. Yeah. And he doesn't like admitting he's wrong if he makes a slip up due to that. I can relate to that. Practical stubbornness that he has. Hmm. Okay. So, quick recap. Golby. Dragonborn. No, of the Ranger. flaws. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, those are all flaws. All of them is a terrible character. <laughs> flaws, Golby. <laughs> flaws, was born. <laughs> <laughs> flaws, Golby. Flaws, Ranger. Flaws, true neutral. <laughs> oh. But yeah, he's, he's definitely stubborn. Right. And his want to get stuff done, he's a uh, let's get this done and over with kind of guy. So I can go home and cry myself to sleep. Masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> we had totally. Well, those aren't that different. <laughs> Simultaneously. I had to wait for my mom to go upstairs. <laughs> oh, God. I had to wait for my mom to go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, and we're saying that while in a D and D podcast. That's when you know we're the cool kids. We're the cool kids. <laughs> wow, we've filled an hour with bullshit. <laughs> You're gonna have to edit that all out. <laughs> Thank you just that. start crying. <laughs> <laughs> this one will be probably pretty easy to edit. Actually, there isn't a lot of rep- repetition, and there isn't a lot of silence. So we just have our own little laughs. We have our own little laughs to keep to ourselves and never to share. Rest in peace, John Doe. <laughs> I killed him in Scrabble. <laughs> Words of friends. Sorry, not Scrabble. <laughs> so All right. he could be very stubborn. He's very oblivious to conflicts, like actual drama. Like he doesn't know what he the doesn't heck's read going people on. well. He doesn't read people well. That's a good one. That's a good one. Not a good one. Like, if he made someone upset, and they were trying to be passive-aggressive to make a point, he wouldn't get the point. He'd be like, he's a, funny joke! He's just not listening. He just doesn't want to listen. <laughs> or he doesn't want to listen. Basically, he's a very, I do this on my own, I can do this on my own, and I will do this on my own, and it can be in my way, because my way is probably the best way. I just did, like, a one of those things that you do in the office, where you just, like, glance at the camera, like... This freaking guy. Mm. Ross, you ignorant slut. Whoa. <laughs> that was real uh, Maleficent work word choice there. Maleficent. I fucked that up. Maleficent, <laughs> Maleficent, Maleficent work choice. Maleficent work choice, being a corporate bigwig. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? No, more than likely. We'll no. figure it out. We'll figure it out. I just need to <clears> jot down. The weapons and the spells that he'll be getting. All right, so I guess that so that that basically wraps it up for Golby. Uh, next episode. Bye. <laughs> what are you gonna say about the next episode? I well something that's for sure. But then I realized 
I didn't plan this sentence ahead before I started saying it. Well, you can give it a minute and then say it. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. See you in the next episode. Bye.